Paul Loves Nails. Welcome to my channel. So today's video is for the March Little Box of Horrors. I totally messed up on this one. I meant to get this video up way sooner, but just note the Little Box of Horrors shop closes on March 30th, so there's just a couple of days left to snag these items. I will have all the sale information down in the description box if you are unfamiliar with this one, and let's just get into this video. First up, we have All Mixed Up Lacquers with Trappa. This polish was inspired by the gray spell from the movie Halloween Town. This polish is described as a milky gray thermal base when warm and black when cold. It's filled with holographic litters of different shapes and sizes as well as colorful stars, bats, and moons. It's priced at $12 for 15ml and has a cap of 100 bottles. This polish was literally Halloween in a bottle. I did not realize how much I was missing like Halloween themed nail polish until I swatched this one and I was just absolutely in love. So the thermal aspects started changing on me right away. I found both colors to be as described. This one is going to be very sheer when in the warm state and in the cold state you will get like a dark black to a dark gray depending on how cold your fingers get. This polish has like a literal ton of glitters in it. I did run it through my nail polish shaker before applying, so I did not need to do any fishing or holding the bottle upside down between coats. Definitely give this one a really good shake before you start applying it and you shouldn't have to hold the bottle upside down between coats. The larger glitters will give this one quite a bit of texture, so I would recommend pairing it with a glitter smoothing top coat before going in with your normal top coat just to get the smoothest finish possible. Removal will be on the difficult side due to all those glitters, I paired it with a peel off base coat, but you could soak this one off to get the easiest removal experience. FYI, this might be my favorite polish that I've swatched for the entire month. Next up, we have Lindby Designs with Veiled One. This polish was inspired by the Celtic goddess slash witch of winter. It's described as being a teal base with a purple to pink to orange to yellow color shift, hollow flakies, as well as silver reflective glitters. It's priced at $13 for 15ml and has no cap. Veils One had a fantastic formula. This polish is extremely glowy and extremely color shifty. In person, I was seeing a pinkish magenta-ish kind of color to like an orange to yellow to green color shift. I found the shimmer is a slightly larger particle size and it just paired really, really nicely with those holographic flakies as well as the reflective glitters. This was extremely sparkly on the nail. I did find that the reflective glitters did dry down with some texture. I used one coat of top coat for my swatches and I didn't think it needed a second coat of top coat, but I also didn't have it on for a very long time to say for sure. So you may or may not need a second coat top coat to get it perfectly smooth. I really loved how the reflective glitters paired with the holographic flakies in here. Removal won't be overly difficult, but the flakies as well as the glitters will make it a little bit messy if you scrub it off. Hi, so I accidentally deleted the footage that I originally made for this portion of the video. So I'm just going to editing Nicole is going to take over. So I also wanted to talk about one more product by Lindby Designs. This is a multi-chrome eyeshadow called Grimoire. It is inspired by a witch's personal spell book and is described as being a black based multi-chrome with an intense green to blue to purple color shift. It's priced at $13 for four grams and has a cap of 50. So you get this little pan of eyeshadow. This will pop right into a, sorry, I'm like trying to juggle all of the things and it pops right into like a magnetic palette like this. I got this one off of Amazon. Um, it looks really cute, but the quality is not the best. If someone still wants me to link it, uh, I just let me know and I'll link it, but I don't think the quality is all that great. I've had it for a few months though and it's still holding it pretty well though. Anyway, um, so I have used it several times since I originally got this in PR. Um, I have not yet hit pan on it. For me personally, I have found that the you don't have to wear a primer with it, but I do find that with multi-chrome eyeshadows, you get the best wear time if you pair them with like a glitter primer. Personally, I have been using this one by NYX. Um, I got it on Amazon, but it's also available at Ulta as well as Walmart. Um, I will have some affiliate links in the description box if anyone wants to pick this one up. Um, it's like between five and six dollars depending where you get it. Amazon and Walmart is cheaper than Ulta, just an FYI. Um, to apply the multi-chrome, I find that works best is like a dense brush kind of like this one. 
I used a smaller one than this, but I can't find it on my vanity which one I use specifically. But you don't want to use like a fluffy brush. You want like a more dense, rounded kind of brush. Um, this one is by e.l.f. and is this called Eyeshadow? So yeah, like I said, I am by no means a professional makeup artist. I'm not. I, I am just a dabbler, to be perfectly honest. And I found this one very easy to use. I have worn it several times since I originally made my, did my swatch pictures. And I found that it lasts for quite a while. Like I have it, I could have it on all day with no issues. You do want to be careful when blending it because if you over blend it, you will start, you start to lose the multi-chrome and get mostly just like black. That's one thing I found. So yeah, I have tried uh, two different of the Linby Designs eyeshadows that have been in the little box of horrors thus far. And I have thoroughly enjoyed both of them. I really hope this brand comes out with more on their website because I love multi-chrome eyeshadows very much. And the final polish I have to share today is by My Indie Polish. This one is called Witch Hazel. It is described as being a white curly base with neon circle glitters as well as a couple of different star shaped glitters. This polish also is black light reactive. It is priced at $13 for 15 ml and I think this doesn't have a cap. I'm not 100% sure but I think it doesn't have a cap. Witch Hazel had a really great formula. I found the base did not feel overly thick or thin and I had zero application issues. This one is a bit of a more milky kind of base so you will want to build it up for the most opacity. If you don't mind a more sheer polish, it could be passable in two coats but I always prefer my white crellies in three coats. I find I just prefer the amount of glitter I get on the nail in three coats more than I like two. The glitters in here will dry down with a little bit of texture. I did pair this polish with a glitter smoothing top coat before going in with my normal quick dry top coat. And because the glitters in here are neon, they will be black light reactive. Here you're seeing the polish under a black light. This won't glow in the dark, but it will glow under black light. My photos show witch hazel in three coats plus two coats of top coat with both glossy and matte top coat. Removal will be on the more difficult side due to all those glitters. I wore a peel off base coat, but you could also soak this one off. And so that is everything. I super, super apologize for this video going up a little bit late. I actually had a couple more polishes that I was supposed to do, but I honestly just ran out of time. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I would love to know if anyone has picked anything up yet from the little box of horrors. I really love this box personally. I think the themes are really cool. So I can't wait to see what comes up in the future. Hope everyone has a fantastic week and I will just see you all in the next video. Bye. What?